The last video I made on making a stream schedule template in Canva flopped so hard that I had to remove it from my channel straight up. So hopefully this one does better. So yes, today we're gonna be creating a Canva stream schedule template. Whatever I create, I will make available for free. Just check out the link in the description, click on that link and you'll have access to it and you can customize it as you wish. But today's video is gonna show you the step-by-step -step process of creating this from scratch. So of course you wanna log into your Canva account. We're gonna create a new design. So that's gonna to be top left here, create a design. And I'm just gonna be inspired by the size here, 900 by 1080, I think that's cool. We're gonna do custom size, that's right there. And we said 900 by 1080 and create new design. We're gonna make it as simple as possible. I'm basically gonna show you, hey, here's how you could create a design for anything and make it so simple, but also, you know, have it look pretty good. All right, so we're here. I'm click, I'm gonna click on the background, click up top here, background color. I like to start with gray, but you know, eventually we know that we're gonna go with a red like this. I just wanna, I just don't wanna blast our eyes straight from the go. So we wanna do our elements first. So I'm gonna start with the text. I'm gonna go to text here. I'm gonna click add a text box. And then in there, I'm gonna type schedule. Now this is the part where you decide if you want it to say schedule or maybe you want it to say your name, for example, because of course it's gonna be a schedule. There's gonna be <laughs> just the days and stuff like that. People will figure out that it's a schedule eventually. I'm gonna click away, click on that again, bring that up. And we're gonna find a font that is kind of appropriate to the you know, holiday-ish theme and I'll see you when I find one. I'm gonna settle for this for now, and we're gonna make it pretty big. This is gonna be mostly empty, so uh, the goal here is to really think about like how we manage the space in general. We're gonna center that, cool, and now we can create basically our shapes that are going to have our, our text for which game we're gonna play on which date, and of course this is the part where you decide, hey, if I'm, Am I gonna have like a little image? Like, am I gonna have a separate section for the days or am I gonna have separate sections for the games? Do I want to put maybe a thumbnail of the specific games in there? So I'm gonna go to elements, top left here, click on graphics and under shapes, I'm gonna click on this rounded rectangle. You know, I love my rounded rectangle. That's nice, control Z to bring that. And I'm gonna keep it as a square. I'm gonna grab the corner and resize it. Uh, hold shift to maintain proportionality and this is basically going to be like a little a little pop-up to show us uh, what day it is so I'm gonna put like you know three first letters of the day of course bringing it down for the same curvature here it's gonna become a circle so up top here corner rounding I'm gonna lower that significantly but we still want it to be like really round since you know we're dealing with holidays but yeah we'll probably we're, we're probably gonna resize all of that anyway so just play around with it okay cool so let's click on around the rectangle once more and this time this is going to be our text now you can also decide you know um how you're gonna display the dates if you want to have like seven day like i'm doing a template so obviously i have to put seven days but you don't have to um you can just gray out the parts where you don't stream or just delete them afterwards but in my case, well, I have to maximize the possibilities, you know? Basically, I'm debating, do I put one full line for each day and have seven days? Or do I put two rows, two rows of three days and then one at the bottom? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna do that to switch it up a little bit so it's not too similar to my recent one. All right, for the color, we also want that to be white. I clicked away, click back on it and <coughs> I kind of want this to overlap. Now the question is, how am I going to uh, display the time? Because the day, the game you're playing, and also the time is important. Do we want another one, maybe bottom right? Yeah, maybe that could work. So I can hover here and click on duplicate. And I can put this here. I'm going to try my best to make this kind of symmetrical, like this and like that. There you go, perfectly symmetrical. Now the question is, is our time going to fit in here? I think we're just gonna put like the starting time, but also are we satisfied with the size of all of this? Maybe, I guess. All right, let's try to select all of this. Oop. So I'm gonna click away to de deselect everything. I'm gonna click and drag to select all three of those. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit. So we know the middle is here. We know we want a little bit of margin. So this will give us an idea of how to size it so that everything fits and I still have like a margin on the left and margin on the right, like that. And what I mean by that is if we duplicate now, 
and I do this, it still fits. Not bad. Uh, how do I flip this again? I always forget. <laughs> I've never tried the tidy up thing, so I'm gonna try that now. I'm not sure what it does. I'm gonna select both of those, right click and tidy up. <laughs> okay, let's let's not do that actually. <laughs> I think this <laughs> I think this is fine. Alright, let's drag this around. Okay, this is centered. Let's place this high a little bit. I'm going to right click, duplicate. Well, to be fair, we should probably already like put the text so it's easier on us. So I'm gonna go top left, click on text, add text box, and we'll put mon for Monday. I'm gonna press Control A to select all of it. Go to up here, text color, and we are going to select uh, gray for now. We'll see then. And then we'll just place it. We'll make sure that it's a little smaller and make sure it's centered. Alignment, I'm gonna keep it, what is that, centered? Nice, okay, cool. Click away, I think that's sweet. Maybe make it bold, boom. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool in my book. Duplicate it, move it, place it, change it. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's add another text box and this is going to be the game you're gonna be playing. So I'm just gonna place, like I'm just gonna put random games that come to mind. Control A to select everything, change the text color to gray once again, and then move and place in the middle. Uh, maybe this could be a little bigger. Yeah, 17, 1730. Sorry, there you go. Now I can click on this, duplicate it, place it. I'm actually gonna duplicate that Monday thing and I'm going to place it here. And here we're just gonna put like the start time. Uh, if you're American, which is most of my audience, you would probably want AM, PM, say 2 PM. So this is nice, but we just want the the alignment to be a little, a little tight. Oh, spacing, nice line spacing. Let's bring that up. There you go. And bring that up centered there you go maybe a little too tight let's go up here to spacing yeah 101 make sure it is still centered it is centered there you go so now you can say when which day what game and when it starts is that cool let me delete that i'll just duplicate the the other ones <laughs> just boop, duplicate bloop, and then move it nice make sure it's centered good then duplicate that then duplicate that. All right, automatically placed it. And uh, duplicate one of them. Sploop. And this is gonna be in the middle, just like that. Isn't that cute? Of course, we're gonna play around with like the colors maybe. Uh, I'm thinking for those right there. Maybe a light gray should work. Oh, this is like semi-transparent. Yeah, why not? Let's do that same here. Boom, color, semi-transparent. This one, color the my transparent light gray and um can i have drop shadows like i would like to have like a very very soft shadow let's click on the background and actually change the color to a to a red i'm gonna go bright red mm, maybe a little too too bright red i'm gonna click add new color and we're gonna bring that down a little bit maybe more saturated. Yeah, I think something like that works. You don't wanna go full bright red like this. You want something a little tame so it doesn't destroy people's eyeballs. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right, uh, let's go to elements and let's find some snowflakes. I'm personally looking for something that is like flat design and no shade, uh, maybe a little too simple. Yes, yeah, I think that's nice. I don't necessarily want the blue, but we'll figure that out. Uh, if we click edit, top here uh, i'm gonna go to adjust color edit and mop up the brightness i want it purely white i'm gonna right click on it duplicate it and put bottom this is like the the easy button for graphic designer you put two things diagonally or you can put them diagonally like that if you want and just put this here maybe they should be smaller yeah maybe that should be smaller bring that down Okay, cool. Click away. And now you can really, really play around the colors until you find something that is that seems like it fits. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. I'm going to bring the schedule down also a little bit. Maybe I want to simulate just to fill it up a little bit. Maybe I want to simulate like the 
the ground in a way, like a snowy ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a circle. I'm gonna close that here. We have, there you go. And I'm going to just stretch it like that. I'm gonna make sure it's white. There you go, for no real reason. I'm gonna bring that down, maybe something like that. Cool, uh, maybe having like a little bit of clouds. So go to elements, look up clouds, there you go. Wait, that's premium, damn, <laughs> get rid of it. There you go, give me the free stuff. There's a little bit of blue in there. I don't really want to have any blue, but we're gonna keep that one. This one can stay. Duplicate it and duplicate it. A little smaller. Of course, I'm gonna change the text now so that it actually looks like a proper schedule. Okay, so those shapes are not actually transparent. They're just behind this main shape and we don't really want that. So I'm gonna select them. Uh, if I hold shift here, hopefully it also selects those. Cool. And we're gonna bring them up front. Right click, align elements, no layer, bring forward. There you go. So they were never transparent actually. They were just gray, <laughs> gray in behind that element that's supposed to be up front. Now let's select the other shapes for the time and figure out what color we would like them to be. I kind of want something darker like this. Desaturated blue, dark. Yeah, we'll change the text to, to be white. Or I forgot to bring this one up front. Okay, cool. Now the text here can be white. Or we have that subtle blue from the clouds. <laughs> Yeah, let's keep that subtle blue. Finally, we can put two pieces of information. One is going to be your stream, the link to your stream basically. And the other one is going to be the time zone. So top left, text, add a text box. And we're gonna put twitch.tv slash, well, I'm gonna put my Twitch. You, of course you want to modify this, otherwise it's free advertisement for me. We're gonna change the color to white font. I'm gonna keep it Arimo. I'm gonna place this somewhere, maybe here. We need the text to have a different color though, so let's give it that gray. Click away. Yeah, not visible enough, maybe bold. Now it clashes a little too much. So we can place it top right, make it white, then duplicate it, and we're gonna put something like all times are in EST time zone. A little something like that. What do we think? Pretty clear. Of course, you're not gonna be playing the same game every day, so. All right, hopefully your schedule is not that wild, <laughs> but I think it's a good example. <laughs> so when you click the link in the description, all you have to do is basically double click on things and then just change the text. So for the days that you're not streaming, what you can do is just delete the text and then gray out the shapes. So you switch the colors to all gray or transparent. Transparency is right here, top here. You can lower that, all right? If you want to change the color, for example, background color, I can click on it and be like, hey, this is the background color. And would you look at that? Completely different. And then you can probably say, hey, I want this to be the red. Maybe I don't want too much red. And also this, you know, that can also be holiday themed, but a little more subtle, you know? Okay, I'm going to save this as a template, share, template link, create template link, copy, and it'll be in the description. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have streamer friends, share this with them. They might need it.